What's up? What are you doing? So right now we just arrived to Cairo Airport and do you want to, to see the airport? Wait, I will show you. Who will subscribe to my channel right now? I think we still have some time, so I will show you the other side of the airport also. So my flight is supposed to be at exactly 2 p.m. And uh, yeah, I still have some time, like one hour and a half. And I'm supposed to search for this gate, uh, E7 gate. But yeah, I think it will be also an opportunity to show you all Cairo Airport. And who knows, maybe tell you some information about the airport itself. This is E3, E14. Yes, let's check the food over here. I don't know, I feel like I lost my way. But yes, yeah, E14. E There is also Wi-Fi service here, but I have to check it. searching for my gate it's supposed to be a7 so this one is e6 and e7 I can see it
Seven. Uh, E Seven. This is E Seven. And I think we can wait here. So let me give you some information about Cairo Airport. Cairo Airport is considered to be, it is the busiest airport here in Egypt and it is one of the busiest airports in all Africa. And yes, it is named Cairo Airport, but it is not located like inside Cairo itself. It is located in a city called Heliopolis, which is like around 15 kilometers away from Cairo. The airport itself has three terminals terminal one two three and uh, but terminal one is considered to be the oldest and right now it handle like the domestic flights between inside egypt itself cairo sharm sheikh cairo aswan and uh, and flights like that while terminal two and three they mainly handle um the international uh, flights and actually it is mostly focused internal I have never used Terminal 3. I've always been using Terminal 2 in here in Egypt. And one fact also about Cairo Airport that it can handle um, almost, I think, 30 million passengers every year. That's how big it is. The airport itself, it was built in 1942 and it was built to be a military base actually and for, for flights during World War II. But then in, I think, in, 19, in 1963, yes, in 1963, it was converted from a military base to serve uh, civilian uh, air flights. But the major change that happened in Cairo Airport, it happened in 2008 when they started renovating the Cairo building Terminal 3 and all these modern things here in the airport. So yeah, I think I still have some time here in the airport. Uh, I think I have like, let me check watch. Yeah, it is almost, okay, 12, like two, how, two hours and a half. I have two hours and a half to my flight. And I'm still here, so maybe we can go again around and check the airport and who knows, maybe we'll find something interesting. Actually, there's something interesting here, you know, inside the Cairo airport there is a museum and you can see many things from the pharaohs time and uh, but I'm not sure if it's open right now. I'll just go around, check the airport show you some stuff here and if we get a chance to go to the museum why not just remember that right now we are in e7 this direction is the beginning like e1 we will move to the other direction to see the other e's inside the airport so yeah, we are here. Let's go. One thing I like about the airport here is that there is Wi-Fi. There are many fancy shops here. Fancy.
just in case you're interested in Egypt. Actually, I thought that I will have to walk a lot until I get to the end of the airport, but it didn't happen like that. I just kept walking and arrived to E14, and E14 was the last gate on this line. So yeah, that's it. I don't know. I thought it would be much bigger. I thought that I will walk and walk and walk. But yeah, it's still very clean, very nice airport and you can get many things here as a gift just if you're interested there's also a flower shop is it a flower shop yes it is a flower shop no it is not it's not a flower shop it's just a shop I think there are terminals here around also to charge your phone if you want. rooms in this side now 
are back again so yeah there are many things here in the airport there is always sockets for charging your phone but I don't know I feel like it is not enough and there are many shops but it's so expensive so expensive but yeah like in the airport nice tour so I know that there is a Wi-Fi here let me stop my data and let's go for the Wi-Fi I just want to check if it's working or not I have to give my phone number to get free Wi-Fi service. So this is a problem. I get connected, but there is no internet. And it is not the first time. This is something I don't like about Cairo Airport, that the internet is not working here. But yeah, anyway, we tried. We did our best. Thank you, Cairo Airport. Actually, I just realized that there is another part here in the Cairo Airport that you can explore. You just have to climb the stairs. It is this one over there. So yeah, let's go explore it together. Just have to take these stairs. And this is the area. Oh, McDonald's is here. You can just make your order here. Touch screen. Okay, let's go for English. Uh, to go. I just want to check the prices here. Let's say chicken and grand chicken premier, uh, which offer this chicken, mac chicken. I don't know. Okay, this one. And if you want a large meal, medium meal, regular meal. Uh, okay. Let's go for regular and change choice. If you want to change anything here, select the drink. Let's say, for example, okay, just Coca Cola, keep it Coca Cola. Small, regular, you can get medium one. No, fries in meal. And then, okay. Add quantity, add order, and then this is, there is one item. Touch icon to see. No. Okay, and here you can proceed to check out this is the payment. And here you can choose if you will pay as a calendar or you will pay here using credit card. 
I don't know, after all that, I just realized I'm not hungry at all. So yeah, I'll just cancel it. There are many restaurants here, like Egyptian food restaurant here. That is a very happy moment for me. I just met an old friend. We used to work together and we had a conversation about the work, our life and everything. So yeah. Yeah, great. I'm so glad that we just checked this point over there. You know what? I take my words back. You remember when I told you that Cairo Airport Wi-Fi is not working? Actually, it is working. There was a problem in the page. I tried again, actually. After you register your number, they send you a code and the page directs you to another page where you put that code and after that you activate the Wi-Fi and then it is activated and mostly it will be working for social media things. Right now it is working with me but it is a little bit slow but it is working. For example, okay, I was searching for Cara, you can see it is working. Let me show you. It is Cairo Airport connected. This is the one I'm using now. And let me check, for example, search for my Instagram. Okay, my Instagram is loading and working. So yeah, I'm sorry Cairo Airport, I love you. Your Wi-Fi is working and now I am completely happy. Thank you for watching. I will end this video right now. And don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next destination.